Well, 603 right now, the fallout over healthy Hollygate continuing to spread. Acting Baltimore Mayor Jack Young now calling for an audit of Associated Black Charities, which manages Baltimore City's Children and Youth Fund. Now, Associated Black Charities has also been tied to Mayor Catherine Pugh's book scandal for apparently using thousands of dollars in donations to buy and distri distribute those Healthy Holly books. We have WMAR 2 News' Megan Knight live outside City Hall this morning with the latest on that story. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, Christian. Yeah, a lot to unravel here this morning. So the Associated Black Charities has been managing the city's Children and Youth Fund for about a year now. The city council chose them to oversee it back in 2017. It's a $12 million fund that's paid for by taxpayers to fund youth programs all around the city. Now, ABC gets paid about $1.2 million to manage the fund. And last year, they distributed $10.8 million in grants to youth-related programs. Well, now, Acting Mayor Jack Young says he wants an audit done to review ABC's management of the fund. He also wants to put a bill on hold that would extend the city's agreement with ABC for another year until that audit is completed. Now, we reported last week that five organizations, including Care First, donated close to $90,000 to ABC so they could purchase and distribute copies of Healthy Holly written by Mayor Catherine Pugh. Now, this was done between the years 2011 and 2016, so that was back when Pugh was a state senator and not quite a mayor just yet. ABC did keep a small sum of those donations around $9,500. And when we talked to them about this controversy, they told us that in light of all of this going on with the mayor and the books, that they plan to give back that $9,500 either to the original donors or they'll make a donation to a charity that focuses on childhood health issues. Now, leaders of ABC also told us that of the 10,000 copies of Healthy Holly that they purchased, they only received about 4,500. And then of that, they only distributed about 4,100 of the books to kids in the city. The leaders also told us that they just passed a resolution not that long ago that says that they will no longer be doing business with any elected officials or politically appointed people. We're live at City Hall. I'm Megan Knight, WMAR 2 News.